M7 consists of a main unit, power supply, probes, and a trolley. Microconvex, linear, and face array probes are the most commonly used probes. Connect power cable. Plug probe into connector and lock. Power on the system. The control panel is divided into several sections. Keyboard, parameter, function, control, body mark, and common sections. The screen is also divided into different sections. Menu, image display area, coordinate axis, focus position, probe indicator M, image parameter. Probe indicator M corresponds to the position of the probe mark. Make sure the probe mark always faces animal head and operator's left side. You should choose the right probes according to different applications. Microconvex is used for small animal abdominal exams. Linear probes is for vascular MSK exams. Face array probes is for cardiac exams. Choose the right probe according to application. Press exam button. Roll trackball to select the right probe and the application. Press set to confirm. Before exam, press patient button to enter an interface where you can enter patient information. Input animal type, sex, name, age, weight, and description. Press set to enter exam mode. Before conducting the examination, adjust parameters and use the right setting according to animal size and application. In B mode, four parameters are most important, depth, gain, frequency, and focus. First, to adjust depth, do this by pressing up and down arrow to choose the right depth. The observed area should occupy two-thirds of the total image. Gain control consists of total gain and TGC, which means time gain compensation. First, adjust total gain. Make sure the image is not too bright or too dark. Then, TGC, from top to bottom. The goal is to keep uniformity of brightness. Below fluid echo area, you should adjust TGC to a relative lower level, so that the image is more clear. At the bottom of the screen, you'll find frequency. You can find the software menu corresponding to the buttons on the control panel. White color indicates this menu is selected. Adjust the button corresponding to frequency and select the right frequency. High frequency have better resolution, low penetration. Low frequency have low resolution but high penetration. So we need to choose the right frequency according to animal size and weight. Next, we adjust focus. Choose focus position. Move the arrow of focus to the right desired area of observation. Focus area is the area you want to see most clearly. You should select the number of focus areas and their positions. Usually one focus area is recommended. Other than the four basic parameters, there are also other parameters that can affect image quality significantly. Dynamic range. Choose dynamic range to make adjustments. The lower the dynamic range, the higher the contrast, but less smooth the image. The higher the dynamic range, the sharper the image, but less contrast.
For persistence, low persistence corresponds to high contrast, while high persistence leads to a more smoother image. Line density refers to the density of ultrasound beams. When performing cardiac scanning, or when the animal is with serious asthma disease, choose low frame persistence with high line density. ROI refers to region of interest. Adjust ROI according to the requirements of the exam. During the scanning process, the operator should adjust these parameters according to the real situation to reach an ideal image level. One such parameter is the freeze feature. Press freeze button. Roll trackball and find the image which is most suitable for your diagnostics. Then press the save button to save this image. In this saved image, you can also make measurement or add body marks and comments. Press the measure button to enter measurement mode. Move trackball and press set to finish measurement. Press the body mark button and select the right body marks. The letter I is a symbol of the probe. The small dot indicates the direction of the probe. Rotate the button to adjust probe angle. Press set to confirm. You can press the ABC comment button to add comments for review in the future. You can press the clear button to delete wrong measurements and comments. Press the save button to save measurements and comments. B mode is a basic ultrasound mode. This is the basis for all other ultrasound modes. In 2B mode, you can have two black and white images. This mode is used when you need to compare two images side by side. Find the first image to be compared, click Dual to free it, then find the second image to be compared, press Free to free it, then you can make comparison of the two images. M mode is used for a cardiac and fetal cardiac exam. Press M button, roll trackball to rotate sample line. Press M again to get the M curve. Rotate total gain to adjust brightness. Color mode is used to observe blood flow. In color mode, we need to adjust four basic parameters, ROI, color gain, scale, and WF, which stands for wall filter. Press set. Roll trackball to adjust the size and position of ROI. The bigger the ROI, the lower the frame rate. In 
color mode, total gain becomes color gain. Adjust total gain to appropriate level so that the blood flow will not exceed the vascular vessel. nor disappear from the vessel. Choose the right scale. If the scale is too high, blood flow will not be displayed properly. while too low of a scale will lead to bigger noise. WF can get rid of invalid Doppler signals generated by the movement of internal organs. For example, Doppler signals generated from myocardial movement during cardiac scanning. PW stands for Pulse Wave Doppler. In this mode, it is important to adjust sampling line and SV. Enter PW mode, roll trackball to adjust the SV position and size. The size should be one third of the blood vessel diameter. The sampling line should be parallel with the blood flow. The angle of the sampling line can be adjusted with bigger or smaller increases. CW is continuous Doppler wave. It is used to measure high speed blood flow. Press the report button to edit the report. Add images. and then choose print, review, or print. You can review previous cases via the feature iStation. Roll trackball to select the saved case. Blue highlight means it's selected. Double click set to enter this case. Select the image by double-clicking Set again. Press Back to go back to the previous menu. Select the image, click Send to send it to USB port.